What's up YouTube, Zach here, and today we're going to be doing a, uh, I know normally I do like meta decks, but today we are going to be doing a deck profile on um, a deck I've been practicing with a lot, I guess, um, probably like a week, which is a lot in terms of how much I usually pay attention to decks. Anyway, if you can't tell, we're doing Monarchs um, with the frogs in them. Um, really think this deck is viable right now. Um, as long as you can get around Macrocosmos and Defissures, which usually most decks will be siding. Uh, Rabbit, I guess main decks hit, but still, your monsters are bigger than theirs usually. Um, Lad is pretty good right now, in my opinion. And main deck triple MST, so you should be fine. And then when you side, you just sideboard better cards than they can handle, like Jinzo and stuff. So... I didn't want to clog my main board with Jinzo, so FYI, not maining Jinzo, but I thought we would go over the deck anyway. Um, so we'll start with monsters, uh, and I am using like an arsenal stuff I guess in this, which only in the extra deck though, in the form of uh, this guy, who is freaking uh, animal if you get him out, um, and I'll, it's not even that difficult to bring him out, but anyway, deck profile time. Um, we've got a Ryza and two Caiuses. There should probably be a third Caius for the sake of consistency, but I don't have one. Plus, uh, look at how cool he looks as Alti. I think Ryza actually is probably the best looking one. Ultimate. So, three Monarchs, Illusionary Snatcher, just one. If you run more than one, you draw him like when you don't need him. And you only want to draw him certain times, like where you can just make a blowout play with him. So, you pretty much only want him in a Monarch in hand, and that's about it. Um, so I might be cutting him, but he's pretty good right now. Then we've got uh, Double Light and Darkness Dragon. Um, card's really good right now. I might even up this to three, just by cutting one of the other tribute monsters, like Snatcher. Right now the deck's at 43 cards, though, so I am looking for stuff to cut. But uh, moving on, we've got Archlord Christia. This might seem weird, but... This card is literally a blowout when you drop it against um, Mermails. Uh, Rabbit really can't do much. Stuff like that. So, Christia, definitely stay in. The fact that it goes back to the top of your deck, too. So, when you have a loaded Grave of Frogs, you can just bring this out again and again and again, and it's pretty damn good. Uh, we got a, a Dark Dust Spirit. Um, just trying it out. It's like one of those extra cards that I want to see if this is good. Um, it's a dark hole, so that seems pretty good. Um, next, moving on to the frogs. We've got three of the swap frog. This should be a super in uh, next astral pack, not some stupid ass slushy. Um, or this card would make a good super. Um, dupe frog. Three of those. Um, you pretty much just wall with him. He's got 2,000 defense. People don't get that usually, um, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, Two Treeborn Frogs, uh, just because macro is prevalent, I decided running my infinite tribute fodder in the form of two would be pretty good. Uh, a Ronin Toten, you only really need one in this version just because I'm not running the Lancer. Um, and so it's cool just to, like to bring out Christia with it, and if you need tribute fodder, having Ronin Toten is good, but beyond that you don't really need it. Um, Secret Tech, I guess I'm taking this in everything right now, is Card Card D. Turn 1, it's not great, but uh, if you have, like, this deck just runs so many hand traps that card card D is almost always live. Even turn 1, I've made it work with, like, so many good plays, and I also run uh, dualities in this, so card card into duality is pretty good, last time I checked. And then hand traps, we got Gores, Double Trag, um, pretty standard. Also have two max Cs, um... No effect veilers. I just I don't really like effect veiler right now, and Max C helps you draw two better cards. And then one lone battle fader. Um, also trying this out. I might put two. I don't know. Battle fader seems good at one, just when you draw into it. It's not really good beyond that. Um, and then finally two tour guides. This is also something I'm trying out. Um, walling with Zen mains and making like all the rank threes that tour guide makes are just so good that I think it's worth running tour guide. But I always seem to draw these together, so that's unfortunate. And that's the monsters. I think it's like 28. Spells and traps, because there aren't many of them. Well, there's a lot of spells, not a lot of traps. Uh, we got Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Avarice. Only one duality, though. Um, 
I opted to only run one because I thought I only needed one. Uh, we've got a Foolish Burial for the Treeborn Frog, Ronin Tone, etc. A One Day Apiece because it's limited to one now, uh, so suddenly it's a phenomenal card. But in all actuality, this is really good with uh, Card Car because you go one day, draw, no damage, summon Card Car, draw two more, so you, you go plus one and then you still don't take damage, which is sweet. Um, next we've got Heavy Storm, so that's like all the one ofs, um, seven of them. I know there's a lot, but you just have room for the spells, so why not? Um, next we've got three MSTs to stop Macro and D-Fissure, uh, because they're so prevalent this format, I figured I needed to be prepared. Uh, also, a lot of back row this format, so double Lance, um, just to protect your Monarchs, uh, so you can bounce them back with Swap Frog, stuff like that. Next we've got, uh, double Enemy Controller and Creature Swap. Those are rounding out the spells, there's like 13 I think. Um, uh, Creature Swap's alright, I've been testing it, I might actually play another, and then these when you draw them with Treeborn are the nuts, because Treeborn can just keep coming back. So, that's it for the spells, and the one trap I run is Treacherous Trap Hole, because you're not running traps, so why not run the best trap ever? Uh, for decks that don't run traps, I suppose. Uh, that's it for the main deck. So, moving on to the extra deck, we've got rank 6s, we've got this guy, who will be legal after Hidden Arsenal comes out, we've got... Photon Strike Bouncer, uh, I never really go into the rank 6s that often, um, so I don't run that many, and I should be running more like Sword Breaker uh, is one that I was considering, and Exabeetle, but I sold it, so those ones I've got for the rank 6s. Rank 2s I've got Agachi, a Shining Elf, and a Degasso Phoenix. Probably should get a Dark Mist, but uh, you know, YOLO. Uh, you're not really running too many, you're only running one Rodent Tone in two, so odds are you aren't bringing that out too often. Rank 3s, which are probably like the best with Tour Guide, um, so I don't really regret running Tour Guide. We've got Zen Mains, Leviathan, Giga Brilliant to pump up your Monarchs, uh, Levier to bring back Ronin Toad in, Treeborn, etc. And Tim Tempo to take care of Zen Mains in case you don't have any Monarch in your hand. And then Synchros, because I'm assuming I'll side effect Valor or something, we've got uh, the basic ones. Except for this, this is just because I'm running Effect Failure. We got Ancient Sacred Wyvern, Scrap Dragon, Black Rose, Stardust. Probably not going to go into these that often. There should also be a formula if I'm going to run Synchros. But I'll probably cut these for more rank 3s because the tour guide plays are pretty good. So, if you guys enjoyed this uh, water deck profile on this, uh, you know, water mat, um, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? <laughs> After you're done doing that, maybe you will uh, rate, comment, and subscribe below. And I will see you guys next time.